What's up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to another Photon Galaxy test hand video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while, but we did actually get uh, some support. Not a whole lot of support, but some support in dual power via Photon Advancer. So I just wanted to sort of um, not only just sort of check in with how the deck's been doing lately, performing very, very well still. Um, still a budget uh, deck I would still recommend to a lot of people, budget for the most part, sort of a... Uh, uh, more of a rogue contender, a deck a lot of people won't really expect. A deck that's very consistent and powerful with what it's able to do with its uh, current card pool. So I wanted to go ahead and showcase another test hand video for you guys. And also, real quick, remember, if you guys haven't checked out Imperium Duelist already, go ahead and do so now. They've got some really awesome non-effect tournament grade sleeves. Uh, amazing effect sleeves too, if you're into uh, using those for more casual play, not so much tournament play. Or you can pick up one of these beautiful playmats, the Thunderstorm playmat. They also have a Ring of Fire playmat themed, um, sort of like this one is themed towards Thunder. Uh, but if you want to pick one of these up, I'd recommend doing so now. It is limited run, and you can get it for 10% off. Same thing with all this other stuff, you can get it for 10% off with my code. Winter kills 10 off. Same thing with the bag that it comes in, as well as some of these beautiful metal dice too. So yeah, if you want to check out any of the stuff from Premium Duelist, Check them out down in the description below. I believe they're having a two a buy two get one sale on the tournament sleeves too. You can basically buy two sleeves and get one pack free with that 10% off discount code too. So it's a pretty good deal if you ask me and I wouldn't uh, hesitate on it too much if you need some sleeves. All right, so I'm shuffling the deck up here and as you guys know, I'll just do a bunch of going first hands, drawing five cards and seeing what type of boards we can make with the cards we have in our hand. All right, so I'm all shuffled up here. We'll go ahead and draw into our first uh, five cards, see what we can make out of the, uh, the cards we're given. And it looks like we opened up Double Sanctuary, Advancer, Desires, and Tachyon Transmigration. So at like a very, very, um, you know, minimal standpoint, we make this live and we have a negation set with a pop too. So that's not too bad. Just if we didn't have the desires or any other way to get any more cards with this hand, uh, we technically have our uh, Galaxy Eye Soul Flare Dragon with this. We have a pop via discarding these two cards and we have a negation of, you know, either one card or as many things in a chain link. So against Salmon Great. Uh, you can negate the Bay Links and the Gazelle via this, via this card's effect, which is really, really powerful. Um, but first things first, I'm probably going to start with the Desires since we have no real way to search anything. No way to deck then first, so let's go ahead and do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And draw into two more cards. Hopefully we didn't uh, banish all of our main pieces. Uh, two Soldiers gone. Uh, the other desire is gone. That's pretty good. Uh, Expedition, Orbital, Vanisher, Galaxy Zero. So not too terrible. And we draw into a Traden and a Trance. So could be worse, I suppose. Um, so with this one, uh, I'm going to activate Photon Sanctuary. Uh, summon our two tokens. And they're the Photon tokens. So we can use a Photon Advancer's effect. Uh, to summon them uh, from our hand for free basically if we control a photon monster we can special summon them and then at this point i am probably going to link these uh link these away a token and the advancer uh, for a copy of soul flare just like that and now i would use this effect here to add back uh advancer but i want to keep it engraved so i can use trance and trance will bring this out and We'll go ahead and summon out um, the wizard because uh, it's the only other level four galaxy in the deck since I'm not playing cleric currently. Now, one thing we technically could do is like link these two away into a soul flare again and use this effect to add this back to normal summon uh, to tribute to get a galaxy card and then maybe get a galaxy eyes to draw two more cards. So that is essentially something we could do since we haven't used our normal summon. We haven't used Soul Flare's effect. That is something that is still an option at this point, but like that's just tons of overextension. And what I would rather do at this point is just uh, Ixiz summon into our, uh, where is it? Our Photon Blast Dragon, setting this uh, Transmigration just like that. So this is protected from uh, targeting and destruction by card effects. And uh, this is not, but it's just better than just leaving uh, just the random two monsters on the field and we also have a negation of any monster spell or trap effect 
which isn't too bad. Like I said, what we could have done uh, before that is just uh, linking these two away into another soul flare, going through our resources pretty quick here just to make this hand a little bit better. Not the most optimal hand, though I get that. Add this back, normal summon it, tribute it to grab a galaxy card. Uh, then we could grab a card like Galaxy Eyes to draw some more cards in our deck to see more combo pieces. Um, maybe like a, a soldier or something at this point, but like a soldier at this point isn't going to be the best. Or maybe we draw into a Vanisher. That would actually be uh, the most ideal. So we'll trade in uh, for two more. And look at that, we drew into a Vanisher. Um, and I think we didn't vanish any Galaxy Eyes, so that's pretty good. So we could actually special summon the Vanisher. Add another copy of Galaxy Eyes, um, just like that. And now we could make the, where is it? I keep grabbing the wrong thing. Now we can make the Blast Dragon. Blast Dragon effect to summon this on summon. Set this. And now with a little bit of luck, I guess, this field turned into a lot better of a field. Um, because now we have uh, two cards on our field that can be targeted or destroyed by card effect. I guess the token can't be as well. We have a disruption for our soul flare bit by having the galaxy eyes in hand to pitch. And we also have a negation, and we have a way to bring back galaxy eyes from our grave or banished during our opponent's turn using Star Leash Photon Blast Dragon's other effect. So that is the other way we could potentially play that uh, field out. Um, it just took a lot more resources having to go into a second soul flare. Um, you know, not using the soul flare's effect the first time we summon it and going into another one. Uh, so not too bad of an ending there obviously could have been a lot better but just showing you sort of a way to sort of play around uh, a bad opening and get to a card like uh, you know galaxy wizard to draw into or not draw into but see a better combo piece and hopefully or something like vanisher off that trade and which is really essentially what we had to do so now i'm going to go ahead and shuffle up again and we'll draw into another test hand all right so i'm just finishing shuffling here and uh yeah, that was actually a pretty interesting way to play out of that hand. I was sort of thinking at the start of that, like, I could just technically, you know, add back this wizard, but then I'd have to make a second soul flare. But, you know, I guess in the end it actually kind of worked out pretty well. Uh, and we got lucky, though. We got lucky by drawing into that Vanisher. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that in, like, a tournament or something, but if you got nothing to lose, then why not just go for it? Um, so this hand here, we have... Um, Attacking on Transmigration, Orbital, Vanisher, Knight, and a Pot of Desire. So, like, I do already play Triple trade in because we do play so many level 8s in the deck. Um, but a lot of times, just, like, you need a draw power card, like, Desires, for when you would open this and you don't see trade in Or, like, an example where you have trade in but no level 8s and you have a Desires in hand. It's just draw power on demand, uh, you know, that can help see more combo pieces. And... For example, if this draws us into a trade and we just draw two more cards, and uh, if we draw something like uh, Galaxy Brave, our hand just gets infinitely better. And with the addition of playing three of these now, like it just makes your first turn fields even better when you when you draw this card, because like this card on its own is so easy to make live, because all you need is a Galaxy Eyes monster. So when you end on your classic triple threat board with uh, Infinity, Soul Flutter, and Number Ninety, this just makes that even better like it's practically an unbreakable field unless they have raw sphere road which is just it sucks that's your, probably your biggest weakness for your triple threat board is, is sphere mode but like i don't know how many people out there are citing sphere mode for the photon galaxy matchup so i guess we're we're, we're safe in that aspect uh so one thing we could do is we could normal orbital and then special vanisher to search galaxy eyes but i'm gonna be a little greedy as i usually am with this deck and just try to save that normal summon for our galaxy knight and we're going to go ahead and start with the desires here. So vanish 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. Hopefully we didn't banish as bad as last time with a double soldier. And we'll see what we get. One yep, Double soldier gone. Uh, so I guess it's it's whatever. Um, banish the other desires still though. Double expedition. Uh, the advancer's gone. Not too big of a deal. My ratio with advancer though right now is I'm playing three banisher, one advancer, one thrasher. So I basically cut... Uh, a Thrasher for the uh, Advancer. Alright, so we drew into another Knight and a Galaxy Zero. That's uh, that's pretty unlucky. Um, so at this point, what we're going to have to do is normal summon the Orbital, special the Vanisher, and search our Galaxy Eyes. 
just like that. And now what I would do from here is equip orbital and send it to go ahead and grab a copy of Galaxy Knight or Soldier. Now, um, one thing we're gonna have to rely on here is sort of uh, the, the power of Soul Flare, which uh, just inherently makes our, our worse uh, fields better because of that graveyard recursion. And I actually think we'll still be able to end on a pretty nice field here. That's why, uh, the reason I wanted, to add the, uh, I wanted to add the soldier here, even though we only have one in deck, and we can't search another copy of itself, is just so we can get this guy engraved. Uh, so we'll summon him, ditch the galaxy eyes, and then we'll add any galaxy uh, monster from our deck to our hand. So we could technically add a card like Galaxy Brave. So when we link these two away for, um, per se, uh, you know, Soul Flare, we can add this back and summon this as a level 8 and make maybe a double rank 8. Um, I don't think we could technically do that though because this wouldn't be in our graveyard to uh, bring back with 0. Um, and we all, we've already used our normal summon 2 at this point, so um, it, might, it might be better just to add this. I don't really see any other better adds at this point. Uh, as far as Galaxy Monsters is concerned, since we did have to normal summon our uh, orbital to get our play started. Uh, if we don't normal summon our orbital, we don't have a play, so we kind of had to do that. So I will add Brave here, and uh, one thing I will do first, actually, is use Galaxy Zero. We'll play Galaxy Zero to revive Galaxy Eyes, and then we'll link these two away uh, for Soul Flare, and then this will go, of course. Um, then we will add back uh, the Galaxy Eyes. And now we will use, or we won't add back the Galaxy Eyes, rather. What we'll do is add back the Orbital, and then use Orbital's effect to, uh, or Brave's effect to reveal Orbital to summon himself as a level 4. Copy the stats of the Galaxy Eyes engraved if you want. Uh, and then Blast Dragon. Uh, you could use Blast Dragon to summon this, but again, you don't have to. Uh, we can just use this effect during our opponent's turn to summon this out. And uh, we still have Attack and Transmigration set. And our uh, Soul Flare is live still because we have two discards. Uh, so that actually works out pretty good. So that's one, two interruptions. And yeah, we've been opening like surprising. Of course, when I get on camera, the, uh, the opening boards are not as great. Because I did two test hands prior to filming and I opened... Uh, number 90 soul flare and infinity both those times but of course like as soon as the camera gets on it's the curse of the camera um that just you know two two weird boards in a row so i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle up here one more time and we'll go ahead and do another test hand probably do a couple more after that as well all right so i'm shuffled up again and let's go ahead and draw into another set of five expedition trade in orbital transmigration and Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. So that's actually pretty good to start. Uh, obviously, we'll go with Trade and we'll draw into two more cards Transmigration and Brave. Love seeing Brave. I'm actually glad I'm playing this card uh, at three now because it, it makes this card live so, so much faster. Um, and it does a lot because a lot of times, a lot of your best cards require a monster already on field. That be Galaxy Knight, that be Vanisher, that be Orbital, uh, and Brave really helps with that cause, especially since some of those monsters are photon monsters to begin with. So we'll use Brave, Reveal Orbital. Uh, so he comes out as level 4, you can copy the stats here. Uh, if you want, if you're afraid of something like Ghost Ogre, probably wouldn't do it. But we'll just go ahead and say we copy the stats of Galaxy Eyes. So he's at 30, 3k and 2500. Then we'll equip Orbital, use his effect, and we will send him to add a copy of our Galaxy Knight. So we're going to have to grab Galaxy Knight here, and then use Expedition to grab Soldier, and then Soldier can add us another copy of Soldier, and then we can link, add back Galaxy Eyes, and uh, I think we could probably make a pretty decent play happen here. Uh, this will just take some experimenting. And we open double transmigration, so there's some negations right there for us anyways. Uh, where maybe this card would be considered a brick. It technically isn't because our Galaxy Eyes is... Our Galaxy Eyes monster, rather, is so easy to get onto the field. Um, so we'll start with our normal summon. Of course, this is going to bring back this, no problem. And then we will Expedition and summon out a copy of Galaxy Soldier. And then when Galaxy Soldier is special summoned, doesn't matter how he's special summoned, when he's special summoned, period, you add a Galaxy, uh, Galaxy Monster from deck to your hand. And then we will add here another copy of himself. Um, now, 
there are a couple things we can do here. We don't technically need to end on a rank 8. Um, because we can still make infinity and we'll have soul flare. So that'll be three negations. Uh, which is really, really strong still. So what we could do is link these two. We'd have to link the galaxy eyes away. So we could link uh, perhaps this and this away and leave the knight on board if we want to. I guess it really doesn't make too much of a difference either way, which one, whichever one we do. Uh, so we'll link these two away and we will go into a copy of Soul Flare. Soul Flare's effect to add back the Galaxy Eyes, giving us that fodder, that discard fodder for our Galaxy Soldier. Discarding that, and then we will overlay into our first infinity of the video. Uh, Nova first, obviously, then infinity. And then we can set both of these. Uh, we do have our Galaxy Eyes monster. We have a, basically a generic negation on top of that. If you want to, you can use Infinity's effect just to absorb this. So it does gain that extra 200 attack, putting up to, I believe, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, putting up to 2,900. And then we have, of course, a negation here and a negation here. And if they have something like Twin Twister, uh, you can just negate with the Infinity to start. So. Uh, like opening the the transmigration there might be seen as like a sort of a bad opening but like I've been testing transmigration a lot lately um, and I've, I've really liked the card the results that it helps produce is just like it's it's literally a blowout card against Salomon Gray because um, like I said if you have it for their basic most combo uh, most common I guess I should say most common combo with Bay Links and uh, Gazelle that one two chain link uh, you know, you negate both of those, shuffle the Baylinks back into the deck, and you know, you're in a really, really good position to begin with. They're down two cards, and you've only exhausted one, which is really, really fantastic overall. Uh, I'm, I am experimenting with three in this current video, uh, and that's why we've opened it so much. And again, this is just like the curse of the camera, I swear. If you guys want to see more in depth, uh, and lengthier play of this deck against uh, decks online. I highly recommend checking me out on Twitch where I play test a lot of the decks that I have and I play test them for hours. So if you want to see more than what's on the current YouTube channel, I highly recommend checking me out on Twitch, tossing me a follow there or joining a stream live um, or supporting me on Twitch via sub or whatever. Um, would be greatly appreciated and you get to see some more in-depth testing on there and then, then you will see it sort of on the main channel. Um, so, alright, so this is our next hand here. Uh, standard 5 card. We got Pot of Desires, Expedition, Reinforcing the Army, Galaxy Trance, and Galaxy Eyes. Um, so, this is again where that Desires is coming in clutch here. Uh, I will Rota, though, to start um, and grab Vanisher, just in case we don't, like, freak accident banish all of our Vanishers. Um, I guess here you could also grab, like, you could grab Thrasher or Advancer. Um, Maybe maybe I don't even want to. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my guns and Rota. I'm gonna stick with my guns and Rota for the Vanisher, um, just in case. And, and we deck thin a card too. So before we draw, it's always nice to deck thin a little bit, uh, depending on what you're playing for the most part. But you know, you know what I mean. Uh, so four five one two three four five one two. And did we banish two soldiers this time around? Let's see. Um, double Galaxy Eyes gone. That's not terrible so long as we have the one Galaxy Eyes in hand. Uh, Wizard, Expedition, Double Sanctuary. Again, it doesn't make too big a difference. So we do play a lot of three of us. Sanctuary and Orbital. Really, really solid hand now. Uh, very, very solid hand. Um, and you can see, like, this is a very solid hand now that can probably definitely end on the triple threat board. Um, but you saw earlier the hands that were lacking due to combo pieces were still made stronger by the counter trap that we play. Um, or just through some manipulation of cards and adding back right, you know, the right things at the right time. Um, the deck is uh, versatile. Is it 100% consistent, you know, number 90 infinity so far all the time? Obviously not. Um, but when it doesn't do that, you can usually still pull off a board with at least one to two or even three interruptions like you saw there with the counter traps uh, in the last hand. So this one, I'm going to get started with the Sanctuary. We'll drop our two tokens down here. I should just put these up like this uh, that way they look a little bit better uh, then we'll start with the orbital we'll equip orbital we're gonna add galaxy soldier from our deck to our hand and we have expedition in our hand too so like this is just gonna basically be like a free board uh, well special vanisher we actually don't have a um, 
what is it? A, uh, uh, like, this is, eh, this is a situation where maybe grabbing Advancer would have been a little bit better, but we couldn't really predict that we were going to banish two other Galaxy Eyes, so we'll just summon this now for a free body. Uh, can't really go wrong with it. We're not going to get a search, obviously, because we're out of Galaxy Eyes. Um, but from here, what I'm going to do also is summon this soldier, discard this so we can get that set up in the grave for the Soul Flare play. We will add, not a uh, soldier here, but knight, because we can get our other soldier off of the expedition. Uh, so we'll link these two away for a copy of Soul Flare. Soul Flare will add back a copy of Galaxy Eyes. Um, actually, no, not a copy of Galaxy Eyes here. Uh, this is where not banishing our other Galaxy Eyes would be better, but again, they did draw us into some really powerful combo cards in the first place. Um, so I would probably add back the Orbital to begin with, um, and then I would just expedition for the other soldier uh, because I was thinking there's a possible way we could end with like three uh, Ixies monsters, infinity number 90 and a blast dragon because we technically did have the orbital engrave um, but I just didn't really want to not add back anything off of the, the soul flare uh, so infinity and I didn't want to add back the uh, you know the galaxy eyes because we have a knight play and of course uh, the infinity will protect our galaxy knight uh, as well so we get that effect to go through pretty much guaranteed unless they have like a hand trap and then an impermanence or something which at that point is just pretty unlucky um, they've already burned two cards in their hand to stop one simple play uh, which is a um, you know questionable since like we would have trance but trance is dead at this point because we're making infinity this is why I wish we had a galaxy eyes rank 5 because we could possibly end on a much better field right now um, and what we could do would be to, if, if let's say this was a Galaxy Eyes rank 5 or Photon rank 5, we could obviously normal this, right? Bring this out, make uh, number 90 right here, first number 90 of the video. And then we could like link these two away for another Soul Flare with this still being engraved, not using its effect, add back either the Soul Flare or the Vanisher off the second Soul Flare after we didn't use its effect the first time then trans for a uh you know our blast dragon play so protects this and this we know whatever exceeds this ends up being hopefully we get one in the future but that's just one example um yeah so and then we could also like equip the orbital to the uh soul flare if we need to or we could just keep both these cards in hand uh but we're gonna get a search during our opponent's turn of a galaxy or photon card uh giving us more fodder to discard for soul flare if need be by keeping the trance in hand um since we don't have any more Galaxy Eyes left, it just really doesn't matter. All we really needed was uh, one for this play uh, to make it happen. So another pretty solid field there. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do one more test hand. We'll do this next one and then one more after that. And that should be it for the video. Don't want to go too long. All right, so we're all shuffled here. And let's go ahead and draw into the next hand. Soldier, Knight, Wizard, Trade-In. And expedition. Look at all of these galaxy cards. The whole galaxy squad is here. So I'm not going to start off by normal summoning the wizard. What I'm going to do is trade it in the knight because it's pretty easy to get back later on. Draw into a trance and attack on trans migration. And uh, again, with this hand here, uh, we don't really need a normal summon wizard. We could be a little greedy, I guess. And special summon this by discarding this to add per se a uh, galaxy eyes and then uh, expedition out uh, a, another soldier and then link away those two into a soul flare soul flare adds back this this pitches that to summon that and then we can make uh, rank five but then we can't make another rank eight uh, with trans because it, the, you know we don't have a photon or galaxy rank five, which really is really 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 annoying. Um, so I guess for the most part, what we're gonna have to do is just like just to play around that and save this and not go like super overboard. Um, we'll just summon this, ditch this, add a copy of where is it? Uh, uh, the photon dragon 
then we will expedition uh, for any galaxy monster uh, we'll just go for brave just to get it out of the deck actually no we won't expedition uh, for this we'll just expedition for this uh, after we search galaxy eyes off of the soldier uh, now we will link these two away because we want to keep this galaxy eyes in hand if possible then we'll add back the knight uh, normal summon knight bring this back there we go go into number 90 and if we had a way to keep uh, another galaxy eyes in our grave um, because yeah, we we specialed out soldier, added uh, galaxy eyes, uh, and then we expedition for another copy of galaxy eyes, and then we link these two away for soldier or the uh, the soldier in this add back knight because we have to do that. Um, so we don't really have another extra way to get this other uh, galaxy eyes in hand to make a second rank eight something like a number thirty eight. At least not that I'm seeing right now. Somebody uh, pointed out in the comments because um, they're just much sharper than I am. Uh, but we'll set this, and again, that's uh, interruption here, interruption here, and interruption there, with a free rank eight for next turn, and we're drawing Photon Thrasher for turn. This one is like really, really warped. I need to like, it's a super rare one too. I need to like change this one. Uh, I don't know why, like the super rare ones that I got, they're just really, really warped, and I need to like change it big time, because uh, they do look a little sketchy, uh, especially with such an extreme warp. All right, so let's go ahead and shuffle up one last time and we'll do our final test in. All right, so I'm just gonna pile shuffle here for this last one. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these types of videos. Uh, I know you guys do, uh, for the most part, like these types of videos a lot. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below what deck you'd really like to see next for a test hand video. Uh, I like to, you know, occasionally update them, I guess, or do, you know, new ones to sort of keep up with the times and introduce changes to a deck and testing them out before I make a new profile um, obviously we got a lot of updates on the way for Mermails, BA, Orcus and stuff you know a lot of post list stuff a lot of post dark Neostorm stuff um, I probably will be doing update a profile for photons uh, I know the last one we did was in February uh, and it's May now so if you guys want to see an update might make a few more tweaks after this uh, video uh, maybe on stream or just IRL and you know when I'm just testing the deck on my own uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see an update of this? Um, I know you guys want to see updated VA, Orcus, or Mermails, and I'll be getting those up soon. Um, just be patient. I'm still waiting uh, to get the cards from Dane. I haven't had a chance to get them yet. Still waiting on those sneak peek prices to drop a little bit um, just so it doesn't completely break the bank. Um, but enough of that. We'll go ahead and get started with this hand here where we open uh, the... Orbital, the Expedition, the Transmigration, the Soldier, and the Desire. So we open up this card and this card a lot, which is just weird. Like I said, of course, it's on camera that I always open the slightly weirder hands. But, you know, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, I'm going to start with Desires because I don't want to ditch the Orbital off the Soldier. Uh, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Let's see how clutch Pot of Desires comes in in this hand. Uh, let's see, we banish one uh, Galaxy Eyes. One orbital. This is actually a really good desire. So we banished pretty much. I don't think we banished any doubles. Just scanning over it quickly. I don't think we banished any doubles, which is really, really optimal. But let's see. We're gonna draw the other desires. Nope. We're good. But we did draw a really good discard target for our soldier. We just ditched the wizard. Uh, sorry, wizard. I really like this card, but like in this situation where I have an opportunity to get to knight and have it resolved successfully, I'm gonna go the knight route and not normal summon the wizard. Just it's either. You know, I don't draw into something like this, and this is like a backup, or if it's not needed as a backup, it's just discard fodder. Uh, so this is going to grab me uh, a copy of, let's see, Knight here. I'm not actually going to grab uh, Galaxy Eyes, or not Galaxy Eyes, but Galaxy Soldier off of himself, because we did open the Expedition. That's usually my go-to grab, um, because this just gets out the other Soldier, and then make Infinity, and then the normal summon can go through a bit safer. Um, because I figure, like, most of the times they're probably going to Ash the Soldier and save the Ash for that because a lot of people know what this card does as opposed to, like, Expedition or Orbital. Uh, that's just sort of my, my go-to way of looking at it. Uh, orbital on this, obviously. We'll go grab Banisher because we need our Galaxy Eyes in our hand to make this hand a bit better. This comes down, and we search this. And then we get to draw two here, which is really nice. Uh, so... 
from this. Uh, it's a nice trade-in setup while getting our graveyard loaded, so it just works in all sorts of ways. Uh, we'll draw one, two, we draw another Tachyon Transmigration. So basically, mid-combo, the more draws you resolve, whether it be trade-in or desires, and you just draw into this card more, it's just more interruption. You're, you're just setting up more sort of um, disruption points, I guess, you're putting on the board. Uh, so here, what I'm going to do is Expedition out for the second, uh, let's see, the second Soldier. Now, since we did draw into another monster, this is going to be how the play is going to work. We are going to start by linking away the Vanisher and the one Soldier, um, and I'm going to go into Soul Flare, and Soul Flare is going to add back none other than this other Soldier, summoning again, discarding whatever other monster we draw into, the other Light Monster, and then here we will go into, of course, the Nova, then on top of that the Infinity, then the Normal Summon, following up to bring back the Galaxy Eyes that we had uh, engraved via Traden. Then we will overlay here, depending on what we're playing against. Since we did open double Transmigration, uh, we don't even really need to make an, uh, number 90 here. I'm still going to anyways to search that uh, Galaxy Eyes during their turn. Set the double Calendar Trap during their draw phase, use this effect to grab none other than the Galaxy Eyes, the last one in our deck actually. And uh, now we have one, two, three, four, five interruptions here, which is like, this is like the, um, this is like probably the best uh, board to possibly end on. Um, or you could also technically end on a slightly better board. You just need to use Galaxy Trance somewhere in the combo. And um, you know, instead of making this, this would be like a number 38. Uh, a number 90 in two set transmigrations uh, and then at that point like you're just like what's gonna stop double counter trap negation here negation here this card also can't be destroyed by card effects and you also have uh, the destruction of a uh, special summon monster um, like this is this is a really solid end board and it's the last one of the video too um, so yeah if you stuck around this long let me know what you think about this board right here and uh, if you haven't played photon galaxy uh, yet and you were thinking about picking up the deck and you haven't done it yet why haven't you uh, this deck is so so much fun uh, definitely not expected by a lot of people um, relatively decent price range I think this card's still pretty expensive like it's 20 bucks a copy um, but a lot of the other stuff in the deck, like uh, Wizard, uh, Galaxy Eyes, and Galaxy Knight, and I believe Soldier all got reprinted, so pretty easy access to a lot of extra deck stuff. Um, yeah, I think this is 14 cards right now because there's no Boral Sword in here, but I didn't really anticipate going into Boral Sword turn one, as you really don't ever do that. Because um, a lot of times you don't need Boral Sword. Very rarely do you need him because you have cards that just go for game in of itself, like uh, number 62 which is just an absolute unit of a card. So that is a great way to finish off the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Check out Imperium Duelist too if you haven't already. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Join the Discord too, and we'll see you in the next one.